I think that because the Republican Party's discourse and hysteria over cancel culture has been so overly bombastic and sensationalist, they're starting to kind of like undermine their own message because they've taken like this alarmism over cancel culture to such a high level, people are really starting to see through it. And now it's really evident more so than ever that this is a really, really lucrative grifting opportunity for not just Republican hacks, but Republican politicians as well. Take a look at what NBC News reporter Vaughn Hilliard tweets out. Ted Cruz is signing copies of Green Eggs and Ham for $60 campaign contributions. So if you donate uh, $60 to Ted Cruz, he will sign a copy of a children's book that he didn't even write. Why? <laughs> What's the point of this? Who's actually going to do this. So here's the text that Ted Cruz is sending out. This is a fundraising text that he is sending out to constituents in Texas. Ted Cruz here, the left is outrageous. They're trying to cancel one of America's most beloved authors, Dr. Seuss. I love Dr. Seuss, and that's why I'm defending his works, and I'm asking you to stand with me. As a special offer, if you make a $60 donation or more, I'll sign a copy of Green Eggs and Ham for you. And then he also has the little image of himself that says, help me stand with Dr. Seuss. Do you like green eggs and ham? Okay, first of all, why would anyone want to purchase a book that's signed by someone who didn't write that book? What's the point? That's extremely weird. Who does that? Uh, second of all, he's saying that the left is trying to cancel Dr. Seuss. This is a decision that the estate of Dr. Seuss made on their own accord. Nobody pressured them to withdraw six books from publication or sales. Like, this is a decision that they made. This is a business decision that the estate of Dr. Seuss has decided to make. This wasn't even an instance where, you know, uh, somebody said, hey, look at these pictures of these Dr. Seuss books. Aren't they a little bit sus? Nobody said that. This is something that Dr. Seuss's estate did. So how is this cancel culture? This is the free market. They're making a business decision, knowing that American culture is evolving and we're be becoming more aware about, you know, stereotypes that are uh, politically incorrect and hurtful. They decided, you know what, maybe it's best that we don't sell this book. So how is this cancel culture exactly? Isn't this something that doesn't really relate to cancel culture if you're truly trying to prove how detrimental cancel culture is to society? Like, isn't there a better example? Well, of course not, because any possible thing that proves their point, even if they have to make really large logical leaps, and even if it makes them look stupid, they're gonna jump at that opportunity. So the question is like, who is going to be stupid enough to fall for this? Well, uh, Ted Cruz announced via Twitter that he raised $125,000 in just 24 hours. Yeah, so lots and lots of people apparently uh, fell for this. And he adds, lefties are losing their minds that I'm signing and sending copies of Green Eggs and Ham to anyone who donates $60 or more. And I love how he adds that, you know, the hand wringing by leftists probably helped him sell more books. And that may be the case, but it's not like we're scolding you saying that it's bad and you shouldn't do this. The question is, why would you do this? Because it's bizarre that you're signing somebody else's work for your own opportunistic gains. Like, that's why we're, we're saying this. But the fact that that many people decided to buy a book, donate more than $60 to Ted Cruz for a children's book that he's signing, I mean, doesn't this prove to you why conservatives have been talking about cancel culture and focusing on it so heavily? Because it's really beneficial for them politically. And it's not just Ted Cruz. When Steven Crowder complains that YouTube demonetized him or deleted one of his videos, guess what happens? He gets to complain about how he's being censored and he sells lots of mugs, lots of his own merch. Dave Rubin can sell a literal book called Don't Burn This Book, where the premise is that, you know, the left is trying to cancel everyone and he's being censored and the right is being censored. Meanwhile, you literally published the book. Like, if you were actually being censored, you wouldn't be able to publish the book if cancel culture was that bad. So, do you understand, like, anyone who falls for this 
is a ruse. But because people fall for this, this is specifically why Republicans go all in on something. If they see that it's actually going to be uh, beneficial for them monetarily or politically to do something, they're not going to stop until they beat that horse dead. So uh, that's where we're at. This is how stupid the discourse regarding cancel culture has become, where Ted Cruz is signing a book that he did not write and making lots and lots of money doing so. America is uh, certainly living in the stupidest timeline imaginable. <laughs> it's, it's not even disputable at this point. Holy shit. Me, me, me. Ted Cruz. Me, 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 me. Alpha male, not a beta male.